Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Model Shop and I hope you're all having a happy Thanksgiving and a happy beginning to the holiday season this year. So in today's episode, what we're going to do is take a look at all of the lifeboat options that I happen to have, which is basically four with kind of a little fifth one in there. Uh, if there's something that I haven't covered that's available, please go ahead and comment down below with that so that other people know what options are out there. But basically what I want to do is get out everything that I have so that you can see what the differences are and what you can expect and maybe plan ahead for if you want to buy a different option or research something else. We'll pull them all out, look at them just in their plastic, we'll take care of the photo etch stuff, we'll put it all together, and then I'm going to go ahead and paint them all up almost all of the way uh, so that you can see everything. And the reason I say almost all the way is I have to share parts between some of the different kit options for what I'm doing on my build. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Before we dive in, there are some facts you should know. In the book, Titanic the Ship Magnificent, we learned there are no surviving plans for Titanic's 16 boats. The most likely explanation for this is that there probably never were any plans. Back then, boats of this type were commonly built to the eye with a mere midship mold for guidance. We do know that the boats were built to specifications set forth by the Board of Trade and that a surveyor would have inspected them throughout the construction process to ensure everything was up to snuff. The boats were of the double bow or double ended type. The Board of Trade also required specific equipment to be supplied on the lifeboats. However, in Titanic's case, those supplies weren't actually on the boats, rather stored in lockers next to them on deck for security. These items were never loaded into the boats when they were launched on April 15th. Okay, here we are back in action. So. Let's start off by addressing the lifeboat situation. The kit comes with three different styles of lifeboats. Not enough of them, uh, no pun intended, but three different ones. So here's your standard 30 foot lifeboat. Uh, there were 14 of, I believe, on the Titanic. And this is it, two pieces. You got your nice hull, nicely done, then the little seat in the inside. Uh, this is one of the, I, I think it's supposed to represent the Engelhart collapsible boat. Uh, you do get two of these, I think. You don't get enough, that's that's what I know, and then this is the detail. Uh, and then of course you get your two 25 foot cutter boats. These are the emergency launch cutters ready to go into action ASAP. So uh, right away, you know, all I had was this kit. I was gonna, I had these three boats and I was gonna order the Pontos um, aftermarket detail set, but it's going to be short, a collapsible boat. So I was told about this, and I went online to model Shapeways, and they had their 3D printed uh, boats here, which you, I'll zoom in a little more here. Not a lot of detail to see yet. I, I need to get this primed and set up. But I bought four of these very early on, uh, hoping to have enough of the, at least the right kind of looking boats as I started to build this thing. Uh, and then things kind of progressed from there. So the Pontos kit showed up. Let's take a look at what happens with that. All right, here we are with the Pontos instruction book. And as you can see, they tell you how to take the kit parts and add a whole bunch of detail to it. And you can go ahead and put them all together. Uh, something that's interesting, let's see if I could zoom in here and get it to show. Those parts right there, J04 and 7, those are the details that are like the flags that go on the ship. And underneath here, uh, we have the hand ropes, which is really nice. And they, they go on and they look like this. So, whoop, we're losing our focus. Let's go ahead and throw those together and just take a look here at how this all kind of turns out. Okay, so this is where you end up with, with the with the Ponto stuff. So first of all, um, I didn't put, oh, here comes the furnace again. I didn't put the ropes on these two uh, boats because it, I'm saving them for later on in the build. But if we start off here, this is your standard 30 foot boat. As you can see, we've got the little details on the side here with the flags and emblems. And then in the inside, you've got three photo etch pieces, the bottom and then the port and starboard side walls. I think you can make that out. See that in there? And then it has the kit piece that goes on top. 
It's very nice. And then if you add the hand rope to it, you'd be good to go. The only problem is or issue is that uh, it's, it's uncovered. Now, Pontos provides a solution to all of that. Uh, as you can see here, they give you a piece of photo etch that goes on top of the boat. So instead of putting all this in that interior detail on, you could just go ahead and throw this cover on. Here's your 25 foot cutter. Uh, the detail on the inside of it is also very good. You can see there's your little side pieces, there's a bottom, and then that tray, or the, the place where you would sit. And again, um, the detail by Pontos for the flag and everything, and then you would have your hand ropes on there. But like I said before, I'm saving them. Uh, here's the collapsible end hard boat, end hard boat, however you want to pronounce it right now. There's the hand ropes on it. There's the detail on the inside. Threw a bunch of the oars in there. I think it looks sharp. This is a nice detail. You get an idea of what you could do uh, if you leave the cover off. And if you don't, Pontos provides this nice piece of photo etch to bend and throw over the top. Uh, right here bent, you get the little latch. A couple of them busted off already, but I, I hung on to them. That you would put this down and then you know secure that other end to the deck. And then, then then you would have your, your boat ready to go. So now that I've kind of made a mess of hand putting boats all over the place, this is this is what you end up with. So if you you know, this is the kit detail versus the Pontos detail. And as you can see, the Pontos photo etch adds a lot. I think if I was doing this, uh, well, the original plan was to use Pontos' stuff. I would I would use the boat, the kit boat, obviously, put the photo etch in. Well, I wouldn't put the photo etch in. I, I put the top on, and then uh, I would nix that. The kit provides you with, um, sorry about the focus there. The kit provides you with decals that are a lot more accurate. Uh, I'd leave the covers on everything, except for like, you know, the cutter obviously was exposed and then like maybe one of these boats actually i wouldn't even use the collapsible boat i put the 3d printed one on there that you're supposed to and we'll get some primer on this okay so that's that's like your first two options there let me change the battery and look at the ka stuff all right here we are back with our ka uh, lineup so you get three styles of boats. Um, these two are resin. So the first off, here's your standard 30-foot lifeboat, and it's awesome. Uh, this is cast in resin, nice detail along the edge. You do have these big open holes on the top, and that's for the uh, rigging that comes off the davits to go ahead and, and uh, secure the boat. But the canvas top, if I put a shadow on here, check that out nice detail on there I like that a lot uh, so these are really cool uh, I haven't put it on there yet but K does provide you with the hand ropes and photo etch to attach to all 14 of these big boats so you're set and ready to go there uh, then we have our collapsible boats again we've got the canvas top bottom as you can see right there it looks like stretched canvas wonderful detail here with the ropes uh, strapped on the bottom, which is too bad because the whole thing is going to be, I mean, you're going to see it like that most time, right? Uh, but you get four of these like you're supposed to have. Um, real nice piece. Then we have the one 3D printed boat. This is the 25-foot uh, cutter. And the detail inside is really nice. You can see it's semi-transparent, real thin. Uh, there is photo etch detail that goes in above this that I haven't installed yet because I didn't want to take away from you seeing what's inside of the boat first but real nice uh, the only thing I don't care for see how there's kind of like this raised edge here it's like the I don't know it's like the transition of the of the planking got a little weird there like they added extra to the bulwarks or something like that uh, I kind of prefer the just the regular kit lines that you see right here instead but um, I'll get the photo etch put in here and on this boat and then uh, our hand railings. And then there's no handle rope, sorry. There's no uh, decal or anything for the emblem on the ship. 
which is fine because you have the kit supply decals that can go on there that are going to look just fantastic anyway when you're all done. Okay, so that's three of them, and now we have a fourth option that we'll take a look at. All right, here we go. These are our China 3D printed parts uh, that you can get on Facebook, and they come in a great set. Uh, let me zoom out here. I'll just throw it all in. Packed away just like so. You can see I removed three of them for you. And it includes a ship's rudder back here, which has some great detail on it as well. Um, even the little hinge back there that goes on the back of the rudder. But uh, yeah, 16 boats, just like so. You gotta cut them out. So uh, because of the way they are 3D printed, you have to sand smooth the top, which is new, big deal. Again, amazing detail on the collapsible boat. Even has a little, I don't know if you can see that there on the bow. There's some rigging coming down on the bow right there. That looks great. Here's your regular standard 30 foot boat. Now here, they did not include the hand ropes. If you just buy this kit, cause you could buy it a la carte, just like I showed you over there, um, you're not gonna have hand ropes. So you'll have to add that detail yourself or just leave it off. And it does come with the little uh, davit holders, which would, you know, the ship tips, the boat tips over, but it would, it sits upright like this. Looks real nice. Um, I, I wouldn't worry about that handrail detail. Uh, it's kind of a big expense to purchase these. I guess the only reason I would buy this if I had the Ponto set is because this is a better option um, than the, the covers that you get in Pontos, and then you would have the ropes. If you had the K kit, I would stick with the K kit because those are just as good. With the exception of, of course, pretty much being this 25 foot cutter. Uh, again, we zoom in a little here. The hull lines are fantastic. Nothing wrong there at all. All of this detail on the inside just looks incredible. All ready to go. Uh, when you first cut these out, there's gonna be a little runner that goes in between each of the seats. You have to cut those out and remove it. The reason they're there, it's a support for printing. This thing is 3D printed, whoops, straight up and down. And if you don't know anything about 3D printing, you have to have supports. Otherwise, what would happen is you would get sagging in each of these seats. So they just put little supports. So you remove those and then you're set. Then you have this really cool lifeboat. Again, put the details decals on and, and you're set and ready to go. So, those are all of the options. And what I'm gonna do now, uh, that I've kind of made a mess of things, is I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some of the details and paint up what I've shown you so that we could do some final comparing and contrasting. All right, let's get back to you with some paint on stuff. Okay, here we are back in action. Uh, this, what you see in front of you here, are the three um, standard boats from trumpeter just painted up and I just you know how they're painted and the colors is is subject to debate but from what I could tell outside and inside's white and then they went with a brown edge on it so that's what I did so anyway the three boats is what they look like now there are decals that go on you know the bow and the stern they have the same shape on all these boats but I didn't use put them on here because I'm saving them uh, to use later. So that's that's what you got. Uh, moving along here, this is our model Shapeways 3D printed um, collapsible boat and I don't there's no detail. There's like lines from the print and a bottom and I mean it's better than nothing but as soon as I got this primer on here I, you can make out those lines I was like, wow, this is not good. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it. If they're better than nothing, you could sand it up and you can you could do something with it and make it work, but I was not particularly impressed uh, by this piece. So I'm really glad I have some alternatives. Okay, then we have four things going on here. So this, what you have here are the trumpeter boats with the Pontos detail set. So up front here, 
Um, and again, I didn't do the best job painting these. I just, I kind of was like, I need, I need to get this together and going, but I experienced some interesting things to talk about. So first of all, this is the top on one of the collapsible boats. It's just a piece of photo etch bent in half. Uh, that's how you have, they have you put on and, and this is what you get. Uh, the grab lines that you see there, I had trouble putting these on, even though I did tape them, uh, in position, they are very fragile and they moved easily. They also have photo etched uh, flags. Instead of there being decals, they have you use photo etch there. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, now, here's here's what you can get. This is the same boat without the top. This is the photo etch all painted up on the inside. And, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, the 25-foot cutter. So, again, not using the ropes. Uh, I'm saving those, but you've got your insignia. You know, now we're getting into, I think I think that this looks pretty good. This is a very nice piece. Uh, and then that round circle that you see up there in the front is the, um, they put the, it's like the information plate. I forget the exact term, but they put the stats of the boat on there, like how much it can, weight it can carry and how many passengers and dimensions and things like that same thing back here and this is your 30 foot boat which you get 14 of and they look very nice on the inside but they are supposed to be covered so you would end up throwing this piece of pe on top of and you wouldn't see any of this stuff so yeah now that i've shoved everything every which way that's what they look like all right moving along literally here we have our ka um boat so this up front here we've got our ka collapsible boat uh nice cover nice detail the rigging looks good i was struggling with what to do to paint it and i kind of feel like i'm just going to leave it white for right now uh, we'll see what happens when i get down the road here's the 25 foot cutter um so the hand ropes went on much easier with the ka set the photo etch than they did with the pontos these are much more rigid they're a little thicker i stuck them on with a piece of tape and then bent them around and glued them in with ca and they turned out very nice i think detail in the inside is exceptional you even got the little hooks on either end uh, to raise it up and down just a really nice piece um, and then again here i'll create the shadow there so you can see for the um 30 foot boat now what i should have done so there's the insignia would go kind of under that um rope i believe i'm gonna use the kit provided decals to put that on there but they put should have put the kit decal on first then put the grab rope on that's what i should have done also you see these big holes in the top that is on purpose ka did that so that you could run the kit provided I guess the kit provided uh, rigging down in there to hold the boat. I don't know that that's necessary because it, it will sit in the davits on the stands and then the davits pivot over and you can run your rigging down to it. So I'm going to look into that. This may all end up getting uh, filled in and painted over and then we'll deal with the photo etch connecting to it down the road. So that's what we may do right there. All right. Last but not least, this is our China 3D printed uh, parts. Now, here again, the collapsible boat. It's almost so. This has this one has stands on it, so it sits upright. Um, you don't have any of the great detail of stretch fabric on the top, but again, it doesn't really matter. It looks fantastic. Uh, the 25 foot cutter looks great. I have not put the photo etched handles on there, so I'm going to use the Pontos um, hand ropes and throw them on here. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Inside looks amazing. I will say this though, it kind of looks like there's a pinkish hue in there, and I sprayed this with primer, white primer. Uh, maybe maybe spray it with a gray primer, something darker first to kind of get rid of that hue. I'm going to have to address that uh, to figure out what's what's going to be best right there uh, to get that finish. But again, the, the finish is amazing. We'll put the decals on it from the kit. Um, these are just wonderful, the China 3D printed parts. And then here's their 
um, 30 foot boat. Now here on top, they don't have as much detail uh, like we saw before, but they, they have the accurately portrayed slots that the rigging would fit through around the canvas covers, um, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing with the uh, KA boats. And I have to put, I'm gonna use the Pontos uh, hand ropes on these pieces as well. So they turned out, I think, very nice. I think you have really good options. So let me put everything back and we'll pass right over them one more time here. All right, this time we'll go right to left. So here's our China 3D printed uh, boats. Moving along, we've got our KA provided boats with their photo etch detail attached. Here is the kit provided trumpeter parts with the Pontos photo etch detail added. This is our honorable mention here, the um, Model Shapeways 3D printed collapsible boat. Yep. And then of course, finally we have the stock kit boats built straight out of the box. Um, I think those aren't too bad. And I think that once you add the Pontos photo etch detail, it's really great, except if you cover the detail, then it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Uh, the KA stuff is absolutely phenomenal. That's what's going on in my client's build. And then the China 3D print parts is equally as amazing, and that's what we're gonna use on um, our build. So anyway, that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed this, and that you have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you soon.